Um, I know people who did that, who went into the store with bad shoes and walk out with good shoes and ripped all the bars, uh, scanning bars. That is illegal and that is stealing. The same thing applies to shoes. The same thing applies to sexuality. They are not your spouse, they are not your husband and they're not your wife. That means that physical intimacy is reserved for marriage and God wants you to do this. When you found the right shoes, when you found that they fit you, it clicks emotionally that you begin to make your way. It doesn't mean you need to get married in two months. Or like your mama and your dad maybe in a month. That doesn't mean it has to be that. Take time to get to know the other person. See like when I got the shoes it didn't mean that quickly when I got the shoes I need to quickly run to the cashier. I could still walk around the store for some time. I carry my box and my shoes in them but eventually I'm making my way with these shoes to the cashier and I'm not putting them on until I pay for them. That's exactly what I want to apply to romantic relationship. That you can see each other, continue to have a relationship, continue to build friendship, continue to talk about the future. But that thing has to lead you to a cashier. A cashier is an altar where in presence of God, in the presence of your family, in the presence of your friends and in the presence of a community, you say your vows, you pay your dues and then God bless your sweet soul. And then you leave there and open those shoes, put them on, walk and do all the good things God bless you for. 